I spent over one million dollars last year. And it's not a metaphor. I actually took one million dollars from accounts and moved it to other accounts or paid it via credit cards or whatever. And the first thing I should clarify is that I am not a millionaire by any means. My girlfriend and I rent this two bedroom apartment in the heart of San Jose. Nobody in my family has ever had a million dollars to spend and my scratch map is only barely touched. I should also clarify, this is my money as much as it's not my money. I'm telling you about how the company that I co-founded in 2014, Slidebee, spent a million dollars last year. So I'm the CEO of that company, I get to decide how to spend the money, but it's not money of my own. So if you were expecting one of those, hey, I have a million dollars, I'm gonna waste it all in one day. No, this is not one of those videos. But if you're like me and before last year had never had a million dollars of your own, I think you'll find some curious insights on how fast that money goes, sadly. And if you're a business manager or an entrepreneur, I think you'll also find some cool insights on how a company our size decides to spend their money. Let's do this. Welcome to our office. Now, the one reason why I'm able to share all this potentially very sensitive information with you is because from the get-go, we've built this culture and this strategy around transparency. We wanna help other companies like us succeed. And nobody wants to talk about this stuff. Like they're all so secretive about the money they spent. Um, so we've been rather open about it. Our role model here is a company called Buffer that is fully transparent. They even share how much everybody on the team makes, which we're probably not ready to do yet. But anyway, here are the real expenses of Slidebean for 2018. We spent $664,080.30 on people's salaries. That represents 25 people that are spread around San Jose, Costa Rica, and some in New York City. Beyond that, uh, we have a culture manager, Paulis. Paulis is our culture manager, and her job is just keeping everybody happy. And she has a dedicated budget, or she had a dedicated budget in 2018, of around $18,000. That is the money that she spent in wine and beer and Uber rides home and anything that we do to keep people happy. Paula works as this bridge between the management team and the rest of the teams. Uh, so she brings us their concerns and she just fights for them to be happier at the office. Um, another large expense very much related to the team is the office itself. We spent around $68,000 for rent and for Wi-Fi and electricity and all that other stuff for our Costa Rica office and our New York office. Now, why do we need 25 people? Five people in the team are dedicated exclusively to helping out our customers, but the rest of the team worked most of 2018 on this. I just realized I haven't told you what Slidebean is, and I don't want to hijack the video for this, so I'll, in a nutshell, Slidebean is like a presentation tool, kind of like PowerPoint or like Prezi or like Google Slides, with the only difference that we've made this process where you can just add the content first and then our platform automatically, automatically really designs that for you. Now before today, um, that used to happen in a very weird and boring way, which was just with a set of rules that we had predefined. So whenever a user crammed up their slides, which they like to do all the time, uh, we were having a lot of trouble kind of using our rules to arrange that correctly. So uh, Jose, our CTO and one of my co-founders came up with this fantastic AI system that automatically designs thousands of slides and then looks for the best one, maybe the one with the biggest text or with the aligned images. And like that, in like half a second, we design the slide for you or the AI designs the slide for you. Now that has not been released yet. It'll be released early April, 2019. But since you're watching my own personal channel, you get privileges and you can go to beta.slime.com and try it out, end of commercial. Now, our second largest expense after payroll is marketing. We spent $144,000 and some in marketing. I'm gonna show you where all that happens.
So for the past few months, we've been investing in a proper marketing studio. And here it is. Let me install this camera so you can see. Now here's where all the magic happens. Now we built this little studio because we really believe in content marketing and that's where we spend most of our marketing effort. The one reason why Slidebean has become so popular is because we've leveraged what people are looking for. We create content that answers their questions. So our first big breakthrough was in Google SEO, but then we moved on to YouTube, which is the second largest search engine in the world, if you didn't know that. So this studio allows us to do all this content in-house. We don't have to leave the office. And I don't get to use this gear for my own videos. So that's why I'm taking advantage of that today. But anyway, most of those 144K actually went to Google and Facebook. Most companies think of marketing as an expense. They think that they're spending this money in marketing. Not really, it's really an investment if you track it correctly. We track it very carefully. We know that for every dollar that we spent on marketing, we are gonna make $5 from the customers that those campaigns will bring. I wish I could spend more on marketing. I wish we had more channels where we could spend a dollar and get $5 back. We just haven't found them yet. Now, as a little side note, uh, for part of 2018, we ran this little project called Slide Bean Contrast. And what we did is we set aside a small percentage of our revenue and we gave it to organizations that were using design to generate impact. It's one of the happiest expenses we did through the year. Moving on. Alexa, make coffee. Coffee coming right up. Next up is services. So first, stuff that our team uses on their day-to-day -day productivity, that's around $26,000 for Slack and our email and monday.com and all those platforms that we use to make our lives easier. And then we have $143,946 for services that our platform needs to stay alive. So that's like Amazon Web Services, where all of our users' presentations are hosted, and Intercom, which is the backbone of our support and onboarding. So if you ever sign up for Slidebean, you will receive a couple of emails from me, and they will look very personal, like, like I actually sent those, but they were really all sent through Intercom based on the stuff that you did on the platform. Moving on. Last, but most certainly not least, the cost of running a business. $35,000 went to accountants and lawyers and taxes and all that compliance stuff that you have to pay for. Only $5,000 for travel. We don't get to travel as much, sadly. And that's it. Those are really all of Slidebean's expenses for 2018. I hope that this video sparked your curiosity about how a business spends its money. I hope that you found some useful insights here. This million dollar expenses, I never saw them. I never held them in my hands. They were just numbers in a screen. But it's been really fun to make this video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hit that subscribe button. Take Slidebean for a spin and I will see you next week. Yeah.